Hi, this is Rico with Maker Code, and today I'm working on the teleoperation of the arms. So not yet AI, just trying to figure out what I can do with these arms. So right now I'm controlling them. Um, and so I was trying different scenarios, trying to see what would be the best scenario for it to work on. So there are things like put a bolt. Into a bin. And then put the bin. Into a tray. Like so. So that's pretty easy. We have things like put one of these little stuffed animals into a cup. Pretty easy. And last but not least, something even more difficult. Try. Try to fold some clothes, so very difficult. And what makes this difficult more is in this arm. So one of the problems I ran into right away was this guy. I don't know how, but somehow this screw is supposed to go all the way through and into here. Well, that screw doesn't work. And so, because of that, as I'm working on more and more complicated stuff, eventually this just pops off as I'm working through everything, causing me to have to stop everything to uh, fix that. So that's one problem I'm running into. So again, it already moved a little bit out just in that one operation. The next thing I'm running into is this gripper doesn't have very much as far as like a rubberized texture or anything like that so it's um, not the easiest thing to grip And then the most obvious problem is the orientation. And this will be an example here, a pretty simple one. The orientation even of this box makes a difference. So if I want to pick this up, I cannot get it in the perfect orientation to always grab it in a consistent manner. And again, Ow. this already fell off while I'm doing all this. So all these little things just for teleoperation, it's making things difficult. But this guy at least has uh, a label area on it. This is a Gridfinity box. So that made it a little bit easier to pick up. But then when I was doing the smaller one and I put it in an orientation as such that the um, box is not perfectly straight with it, you will see there's no way for me to just rotate. You know, I just want to rotate the wrist, but that's not an option. All right, so here there is kind of like this, but not quite in that orientation. So I have to kind of squeeze it into the orientation to get it to work. And then as I'm putting it now down into this tray, the orientation isn't quite right. So I'm having to kind of 
manipulate it because I can't do that rotation right there. So doing certain maneuvers like this become a little more difficult. So work around, put it at an angle, at least now half of it fix. Um. Uh, again, fell off, fun. I'm worried if I glue it, when I need to do any repairs, then I won't be able to take it off. So I haven't decided yet if I'm gluing that, but now in this orientation, easy to pick up, but now rotating this to be in the right orientation, not as easy. So it's not impossible, but as you can see, orientation and that rotation makes difference. I can slide this over, but no matter what, I'll have a problem. You know, if I put it more in line here, not going to be a problem. So I don't know if changing the gripper is enough. Whoa, it's going crazy right now. I'm not sure what that one is. Hiccup of some sort, but uh, I'm not sure what to do there. Not acting weird, anything hot. No. 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 Another problem again I ran into. I didn't go back and lock tight all these, but this guy is wobbling around like I gotta go and fix the screw inside here. So just in teleoperation, you know, to say. Um, I'm going to have to do the same repeated thing 50 times um, with something more complex like these will be a little bit more difficult because of orientation. Again, I have to make sure I orientate it in such a way that the wrist, which doesn't have this rotation, can get it on there. So again, here in this position, I don't really have a way to rotate it around other than just squeeze it and then here is okay to put it on oh. but you can see that not the easiest with this gripper all the time because i just need it to rotate just a little bit And it's on. So, just working through all these different scenarios. The camera now. I have uh, a camera here now. And then, um, work out these small little details with the arm problem. Um, screwing in the gripper so it's tighter. And then I'll start the AI training next. But for the most part, it works. Uh, I had to replace the servo. So I got all the servos back. I had to um, recalibrate it so that it wouldn't be a problem anymore. Uh, but yeah, so hope this is helpful. If you like, please like and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming along shortly. Thanks.